Now, I'm sure we all know conceptually what a pause menu is and how it works, but let's step through it anyway. So your game is running, there's animations happening, there's inputs being processed, updates are being made. When all of a sudden you click a button, the entire game stops, some menu appears, which typically overlays over the game, and the menu wouldn't be any good without a bunch of buttons, so there's buttons on the menu. Each of these buttons are able to do something, and if you press that same button that paused the game, it usually unpauses the game. And that's it. That's the entirety of a pause menu. So let's switch over to Unity and we can get started on implementing this. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a project I already have created. I'm going to be using my Ludum Dare entry that I made a video on the other week. But this will illustrate how you can implement this to any current project. There is a lot going on in the inspector, but you don't need to worry about any of that. Things of note in this project that's already here is a main menu. As you may have seen in the intro, I'm going to make my pause menu be able to redirect to the main menu. And then I also have the main gameplay scene where you can actually fight enemies. And so on this scene is where I want to implement my pause menu. So in my gameplay scene, I already have some resemblance of a menu setup. So I have this canvas object already created. But if you don't have one, you can simply right click, go to UI and create a canvas. So these are my canvas settings. I'm using render mode screen space overlay and the UI scale mode is scale with screen size with a reference resolution of 1920 by 1080. And if I right click on this canvas and go to UI, we can select panel. I'll rename this panel pause menu. Feel free to style your pause menu however you want. I'm just gonna use a transparent background with some text over it. So to mimic what I had in the intro, I'm gonna have a header up at the top, which needs to be some text. So I'm gonna right click on pause menu, go to UI and go to text, text mesh pro. If you haven't imported it before, I already have, it will ask you to import essentials. This is because it doesn't come out of the box with the Unity. So I'm gonna make it a little larger. I'm gonna use the rec tool and hold shift and drag it out. I'll change the text to paused. Maybe make the font size 100 and we'll center it. Right now it's in the center, but we kind of want it towards the top. That's fine for me. And I'll change the material to drop shadow. All right, that header is looking good, I think. We can right click on pause menu and go to UI button text mesh pro and same thing as before we're going to scale it up we can expand the button and go to the text object and we can change the text on this to resume we can make the text larger too so i'll make this maybe 50. i'll rename this button to resume button feel free to use any sprites if you have any cool ones i don't and so in my main menu video i showed how you can use the opacity trick but for this one i'll just kind of leave them ugly and change the colors a little bit so for the normal color i'll use this gross yellow for the highlight color, we'll make it a little lighter. And for the press color, I'll make it a little darker. And for the selected color, we'll click this eyedropper and we'll pick the highlighted color as well. So with that, we'll click the resume button and press Control D. We'll rename this to main menu button and change the text to back to menu. All right, we'll click main menu button again, Control D duplicate, call this quit button, say quit game. So now we have our pause menu set up. You can now click the different options, but they're not doing anything. So in my scripts folder, it doesn't matter where you make it, but I'm going to do it in my scripts folder. I'm going to right click, create a new C sharp script, and I'm going to call this pause menu. It doesn't matter where exactly it lives. You'll have to figure that out for your own project, but I'm going to put mine on a game manager. So I'll just drag pause menu onto the game manager. All right, with pause menu open. So we need a reference to that menu we just created. So I'll say public game object pause menu. In our start function, we'll say pause menu dot set active to false. We're going to need public void pause game and public void resume game. When we pause the game, the first thing we want to do is activate our menu like we said earlier. So we'll say pause menu dot set active true. In Unity, a way you pause the game is to stop the in-game clock. And to do that, you just say time dot time scale is equal to zero. This basically stops animations and updates. And conversely, in resume game, we simply want to do the opposite. And we'll set set active to false. And time.timescale is equal to one. So now in our update function, we want to check if the player is pressing the pause button. You can make a public key code variable. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to use escape. And so if we press escape, we either need to pause or resume. So we need to know if the game's paused already. In order to do that, we need a bool. So we'll say public bool is paused. We'll say if is paused, we'll resume game, else we'll pause game. But since we created this bool, we also need to flip this when we are pausing and resuming. So in pause game, we'll say is paused equals true. And in resume game, we'll say is paused equals false. 
And so now when we play the game, we can press escape and the game's paused. And if we press escape again, it should resume. There still is an issue though. You'll notice that I'm spawning bullets even though the game is paused. And that's because we're not preventing inputs from happening in other scripts. So one way we can utilize this is to make a public static bool, which makes this a global variable. And so in this weapon script, I actually handle processing inputs for firing. We can just wrap the code in this update function with that same bool check. So we'll say if the pause menu is not paused, then you can process these inputs. Otherwise, nothing will happen. So now when you're paused and you click, you're not creating any bullets. And if you have any other areas where you're handling inputs like this, you could just use the same bull check. Okay, so back in our pause menu, at the top we want to add using unity engine.scene management. We'll make two new functions, public void go to main menu. We'll say time.timescale equals one and scene manager dot load scene main menu. This only works if you have a scene called main menu in your build settings. We'll make another function public void quick game. We'll just say application.quit. This won't work in the editor, only when you build. We'll select the resume main menu button and quit button and add an on click event. We'll drag in the game manager. For resume, we want the function resume game. For the main menu, we want go to main menu. For the quit button, we want quit game. So we can pause, we can resume, we can go to the main menu, and you can quit. <laughs>